Hey guys, this is Andrew at Stone Glacier. Uh, today I'm just going to give you a quick overlook at my layering system for early archery season. Uh, I'm not going to get too in depth. I just want to kind of give you a brief overview of like how I layer and kind of why I choose the pieces I do. So the first piece that I like to wear is our Chinook Merino Boxer. Um, really the reason I like to wear this is just because it's usually hot. You're going to be sweaty, potentially stinky, and these do a really good job of mitigating odor. And because of the nylon Merino blend we have, they actually do dry out fairly quickly. So the De Havilland light pant is my pant of choice for archery season. Um, it is equally as feature rich as the De Havilland pant in a lighter textile. So it's not as warm, it dries quick, uh, and then like I said, it has a full feature set, so still has big side zips so you can dump your heat in early archery season uh, if it's really hot or you're making a big climb, etc. Okay, so this is the M5 pant. Um, I do like to carry rain gear 100% of the time. Uh, nothing is worse than getting caught in a rainstorm. So we have the M5 pant here. Uh, this is a three layer, um, very minimalistic set of rain gear. So it's light, it's packable, and it's worth having on you if you do end up getting caught in a rainstorm. So. This is in my pack all the time. I never leave home without it. So moving to tops here, um, <clears throat> I'm kind of I'm kind of between these two tops. Uh, there's use cases where I like the merino, and use cases where I like the synthetic. Typically, I like I like the synthetic on shorter hunts, one or two days, something like that, or if you're hunting out of the truck looking for antelope, etc. This is a really nice piece because um, it is UPF rated. So you get into those early season, like high sun, uh, high exposure days. This is a great piece. If you sweat in it, it dries really fast, etc. Uh, the upside to the Merino <clears throat> and the, the use case where I find it to be the most beneficial is on those longer hunts. Uh, it doesn't dry quite as fast as the synthetic, but again, because of that blend we have with the merino and nylon, it does do a pretty good job of pulling moisture off your skin. The other thing I really like about it and why I would typically backpack hunt in merino is because it does such a fantastic job of mitigating odor. So merino for backpack hunting, synthetic for those shorter hunts or day hunts. And then this is our Helio hoodie. Um, I don't do anything without the Helio hoodie. I don't care if it's hot, I don't care if it's cold, snowing, whatever, whatever the climate is, I have a Helio in my backpack, foregone conclusion. Um, so this is gonna be a mid-layer, right? These are next to skin. This is gonna be a mid-layer, um, which is great for uh, adding insulation if you need it, if it gets a little colder, or just those cold, brisk morning hikes up the ridge to get into position in the morning before the sun comes up. So this is with me all the time. <clears throat> all right, so I do always carry a piece of insulation, um, even if it's relatively hot and the forecast says it's gonna be hot. And again, we go back to the, um, the natural versus synthetic fiber debate. And again, I have like two fairly different use case scenarios for this. So if I'm backpack hunting, I'm taking the Grumman. It's light, it's packable, it's virtually inconsequential to carry, etc. So if I'm backpack hunting, I'm definitely going with the Grumman. If I'm going to do something a little bit shorter or if I'm in a really wet climate, I'll take the Cirque. Um, this is probably equal as far as warmth, but there is a little lar larger weight penalty on the Cirque and it's not quite as packable. So if I'm, uh, if I'm hard up for space in my backpack, that's where the Grumman is really nice and really shines. But both of these are great. Uh, this is a little bit quieter face fabric for bow hunting. So kind of got to pick your poison, but 
this would be shorter uh, and sh shorter hunts and potentially um, gonna endure some moisture. And then this would be like backpack hunting. And then again with the rain gear, uh, this is our M5 rain gear. So this is a three layer. Uh, it does have a couple of pockets in it, but it's meant to be light. It's meant to be packable. So if it's gonna rain, this is going on. As soon as the rain is done, it comes right off. But this is a piece that you have to have in your pack. Nothing is worse than getting caught in a rainstorm without rain gear. So I know that's a pretty quick overview of my layering system for early archery season. But if you guys have any questions about what I do or why I layer the way I do, feel free to reach out. We're always happy to answer questions.